Yeah. Uh, hi, Jonathan. I suppose, Jonathan, first of all, I just want to ask, I suppose, there's been your time in Huddersfield. You've seen a good lot of managers come in and out the door. But now under Neil Warnock, there's a bit of settlement at last, uh, a bit of a long stay manager. You've seen managers like Carlos that have been around for a while as well. How important is that as a player to start a new season when you know that a manager is given the confidence and the backing and uh, results based on last year and you know that you're going to be working with him for a good period? the months? I think it's good. Um, to be honest, when we were in the off-season, we didn't know what was happening and what manager was going to come in. And when Neil got announced, I think uh, the lads are really buzzing that he stayed. I think we were sweating, not knowing what the outcome was going to be. So uh, we, didn't, we didn't expect it. Then all of a sudden, Neil's announced that he stayed and all the lads were buzzing. So it's to be working with him, he's a, such a special guy and a special manager. He's experienced and his know-how of championship football is um, it takes the pressure off the lads and he gives us the freedom to go and play and do what we do best I suppose Jonathan in terms of routines and repetition I suppose each time a new manager comes into the into a club he sort of changes the philosophy he's his own style and I suppose it's starting from scratch again how how great was news that Neil coming back that she could build on last year and that you're not having to start from scratch all over again with a new manager it was fantastic that he stayed um, like I said all the lads were buzzing um, we needed him because we the club was it was a rocking ship, and when we knew Neil was staying, it was we knew that that ship was going to be smooth again. So we knew we would have had our critics when things weren't going well. But like I said, the gaffer just takes all the pressure off the lads. He demands high standards, but on the other side, he'll he'll always back his players, and he'll uh, he gives it. Like I said, he gives the lads freedom to to go and express themselves, and just don't worry, lads. I'll I'll take the pressure, but. Give me everything you've got. Yeah, and we we spoke about it and we've heard at length about your tenure at Huddersfield Town and I suppose you're on 315 games. More than likely you're going to reach the 350 mark by the season and there's a possibility you could go maybe to 400 appearances with this club, which would be a real sort of milestone. I, I was trying to think the other day had any sort of player reached 500 appearances for a club, but uh, that's probably a bit pushing it. But 400, if you could reach 400 for Huddersfield, uh, it'd be some going it would be I'd be buzzing <laughs> yeah 400 games for one club it'd be it'd be quite special Um we'll see what happens there's as long as I stay fit I, I can't see why not I can't get there but um it's a long way away yet but if I can stay fit and healthy it's something to aim for and I suppose in terms of Roy Keane having um, having him as your role model and inspiration, is it the the tenacity that Roy Keane brought and uh, the never say die attitude and the sort of bite that the pit bull attitude is that what you really admired in him rather than the the fancy dance stuff of Paul Scholes and Giggs and Beckham? Was it the real dog in Keane that you really admired? Yeah, I think the way he led the team, he he led by example. He. He didn't let anyone off the hook if they weren't following them. He'd he'd let them know, and I think that that fire in his belly really, you could you could everyone watching him, you could see that he had that fire and that desire to uh, to win, and that's what we all want to do. We all want to win games, and we need everyone to pull in that right direction to to be on the right side of the score. I suppose you had a tough start fixture wise towards the the start of the season, and obviously we are we are playing some of the real top teams and promotion favourites. But people who look at the schedule now and say over the next few weeks is a bit kinder to Huddersfield after that rough start. So is this a real important period now, the next three to four weeks, to sort of pick up a few uh, points on the road, a few points at home, and obviously put back to back results uh, together for the first time this season. Yeah, we need to string some results together. If we can get back-to-back wins, that'd be fantastic. Um, listen, all, all games in the Championship is, is tough in their own ways. And I think playing against Rotherham or Leicester will still bring different aspects to w- w- how they're going to test you. And as um, long as we go in there with the same desire and the same attitude as what we've done the first five or six games, um, I think the result will look after itself. 
And I suppose finally for me, Jonathan, I suppose when a new players come into the club, they're always met by the manager and then sometimes they're met by the leaders in the dressing rooms, the mainstay uh, in, in the locker room and sort of such. And you've been an experienced part, an integral part of this Huddersfield Town team for 10 years now. And uh, when new players come in, do you uh, get together? Do you meet with them? Do you sit down and run through the, your expectations of what you expect from them in terms of training and commitment and what the players expect? Are you one of those players that, that is the first person to meet and greet new players and have those one to one chats? Um, not really. I don't. I, I wouldn't say. I think it's more of a manager manager's job that um, the demands that he expects from the players that he signs. Um, obviously, when he when he comes in, we'll go through the rules in the dressing room and stuff, the do's and the don'ts, and the things that we do expect. But I think the more nitty gritty stuff, I think it'll come from the manager. Okay, so in terms of a player power and player perspective, and in, in, in terms of that, the what the, the demands that players expect from each other is that something that the manager enforces, or as players sometimes senior players, do you remind uh, international players that come over for the first time in this country what it might be like and what's expected of you to put on that Huddersfield Town jersey? It'll be more on the training field if they weren't doing it or they were when at the standard that you expect that's when you'd you'd pull them to a side on you you say listen we need a bit more a bit more um energy or whatever he's doing wrong then you'd point him in the right direction and and um hopefully you're setting setting an example and you you need everyone to follow it cheers jonathan thanks a million no problem thank you very much